A green stick fracture is a fracture in a young, soft bone in which the bone bends and breaks. Despite the name fracture, during the majority of cases the bone is broken and hard to find in X-rays. This is owing in large part to the thick fibrous periosteum of immature bone. A person's bones become harder and more brittle with age and the periosteum becomes thinner and less restrictive. Green stick fractures usually occur most often during infancy and childhood when bones are soft. The name is by analogy with greenwood which similarly breaks on the outside when bent. It was discovered by British-American orthopedist, John Insall, and Polish-American orthopedist, Michael Slupaki. Classification of pediatric fractures Pediatric fractures can be classified as complete and incomplete. Incomplete There are three basic forms of incomplete fractures. The first is the green stick fracture, a transverse fracture of the cortex which extends into the mid portion of the bone and becomes oriented along the longitudinal axis of the bone without disrupting the opposite cortex. The second form is a torus or buckling fracture, caused by impaction. They are usually the result of a force acting on the longitudinal axis of the bone. They are typically a consequence of a fall on an outstretched arm, so they mainly involve the distal radial metaphysis. The word torus is derived from the Latin word torus, meaning swelling or protuberance. The third is a bowel fracture in which the bone becomes curved along its longitudinal axis. Complete fractures, there are also for sale fractures. The Salter-Harris classification is the most used to describe these fractures. Signs and Symptoms Some clinical features of a green stick fracture are similar to those of a standard long bone fracture. Green stick fractures normally cause pain at the injured area. As these fractures are specifically a pediatric problem, an older child will be protective of the fractured part and babies may cry inconsolably. As per a standard fracture, the area may be swollen and either red or bruised. Green stick fractures are stable fractures as a part of the bone remains intact and unbroken so this type of fracture normally causes a bend to the injured part, rather than a distinct deformity, which is problematic. Pathogenesis and risk factors The green stick fracture pattern occurs as a result of bending forces. Activities with a high risk of falling are risk factors. Non-accidental injury more commonly causes spiral fractures but a blow on the forearm or shin could cause a green stick fracture. The fracture usually occurs in children and teens because their bones are flexible, unlike adults whose more brittle bones usually break. Treatment Removable splints result in better outcomes to casting in children with torus fractures of the distal radius. Traditionally buckle fractures have been casted mostly below the elbow if it is in the wrist and small. Fossil record. Evidence for green stick fractures found in the fossil record is studied by paleopathologists, specialists in ancient disease and injury. Green stick fractures have been reported in fossils of the large carnivorous dinosaur Allosaurus fragilis. See also, Salter Harris fractures. References. External links, Radiology green stick versus torus fractures.